So it puts the human in the seat of fixing issues versus writing from scratch. Do you find that kind of idea at all interesting? Every year we're going to be losing more and more control over what machines are doing, and and, and people are saying, well, it seems to. I, I, when I was a professor at Caltech uh, the, in the in the sixties, we had this this guy who who talked a good game. He could give inspiring lectures, and you'd think, well, he. Uh, thrilling things he was talking about. An hour later, you say, well, what did he say? <laughs> um, uh, but 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 he really felt that it didn't matter whether computers got the right answer or not. It just matter whether it made you happy or not. In other words, if you, you know, if, if 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 your boss paid for it, uh, he, uh, he, you know, then you had a job. You could you, you know you could you, you could take care of your wife. So happiness is more important than truth. Exactly. He didn't believe in truth, but he was a philosopher. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I like it. Um, <laughs> and somehow you you see, uh, we're, we're going that way. I mean, we're, so, so many more things are, are are taken over by saying, "Well, this seems to work." And so, and, and when there's when when there's uh, competing interests involved, neither side understands why the decision is being made. Uh, 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 it, uh, it, it, you know, we, we realize now that it's that is bad. But uh, but consider what happens five five years, ten years, mm -hmm. years down the line when, when things get even more f further detached, and each thing is based on something from the previous year. Yeah. So uh, you start to lose the more you automate, it, it, the more you start to lose track of uh, some deep ex exponentially, human exponentially, but. So that's the dark side. The positive side is the more you automate, the more you let humans do what humans do best. So maybe programming, there's, you know, maybe humans should focus on a small part of programming that requires that genius, the magic of the human mind and the mess you let the machine generate. Yeah. I mean, there, that's the that's the positive, but of course, it does come with the darkness, like okay. of automation. What's what's better? Correctness. I, I, I'm never going to try to write a book about that. <laughs> uh, I'm never going to recommend to any of my students to work for them. Uh, sure. <laughs> so you you're on the side of correctness, I'm on the side, not I, beauty. I'm on the side of uh, under, happiness. understanding. I, understanding. Uh, and I I think these things are really marvelous if they if if what they do is you know uh, all of a sudden we have a better medical diagnosis or or or, or you know it'll help guide some scientific experiment or something like this uh, uh, you know so you know curing diseases or what uh, whatever but but when it when when it affects people's lives in a serious way. Uh, uh, so, so if you're writing, if you're writing code for, you know, oh yeah, here, this is great. This will make an, a slaughterbot. Okay. This will be great. Yeah. So I see. So <clears throat> you have to be very careful. Like right now, it seems like fun and games. It's useful to write a little JavaScript program that helps you with a website. But like you said, one year passes, two years passes, five years, and you forget. You start building on top yeah. of it. And then all of a sudden, you have autonomous weapon systems <laughs> based. Well, well, we're all dead. It doesn't matter in that sense. <laughs> well, in the end, the, this whole thing ends anyway. Yeah. So, um, but well, it, it pays. Well, there, to... there is a heat death of the universe uh, yeah. uh, 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 predicted, but, I, but I'm trying to postpone that for, for a little bit. <laughs> well, it'd be nice that at the end, as we approach the heat death of the universe, there's still some kind of consciousness there to 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 appreciate it. Hopefully, human consciousness. I'll settle for ten to the ten to the ten to the tenth year, some finite number. But yeah. but uh, things like this might be the reason we don't pick up any s signals from <laughs> extraterrestrial. They don't want anything to do with us. No, oh, because they because they they they, they invented it too. And <laughs> so you you do have a little bit of worry on the existential threats of AI and automation. So like like et removing the human from the picture, et cetera. Yeah, people have more more potential to to do harm now than by far than they did a hundred years ago. But 
are you optimistic about so the humans are, are good at creating destructive things but also humans are good at solving problems yeah i mean there's half empty and half full you know the, so uh, so how are we, are we I, half I, full or what, i can or? go yeah uh, so, so let, let me let me put it this way because because it's the only way i can be optimistic but but mm -hmm. but but think of um of uh, of things that have changed because of civilization you know they don't occur just in nature so so just uh just imagine the room we're in for example okay some you know we've got pencils we've got books we've got tables we've got microphones you know, clothing food all these things were added somebody invented them one by one and Millions of of things mm -hmm. uh, that that we inherit, okay, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's inconceivable that that so many millions of billions of things uh, wouldn't have problems, and and, they, and, we, and we, we we get it all right, um, and, and each one w would have no negative <laughs> uh, yeah. effects and so on. So it it's very amazing that as much works as it does work. 